Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms, and today we're going to repurpose an antenna. Uh, if you're like me, you like to save money. So, I end up picking up a lot of stuff that I feel I may be able to use in the future, and this is one of those items. This is a, um, I think I paid like 4 or $5 for it, or like a ham fest, and it was a, um, some kind of antenna for like a cellular telephone, or for a um, PCS antenna, or whatever have you with a rare earth magnet at the base of it and interestingly enough it came with this cool adapter which is a uh, type in SMA which that'll go in the adapter box and that more than pays for the investment in the antenna kit and it's about eight foot of RG174 coax which is nice and small coax and uh, today using some stuff I'm laying around I'm gonna go ahead and turn this into a VHF antenna and uh, let's get cracking and the antenna itself is threaded on here in the base of the magnet. And if you look at it here, it looks like it's a 10 30 second stud. Get a focus in there. And that 10 30 second stud has an O ring at the base of it there. So, what I am going to use, what I found, I have a 10 30 second standoff here that uh, I can go ahead and put a resonator in. Okay, now that that's attached to there, you can see we've got a little base on there now. Um, what I'm going to use for a resonator is I happen to have a old uh, stinger from probably a 5 8 wave VHF antenna. And I'm going to go ahead and lop off about, uh, I don't know, about 19 and a half, 19 3 quarter inches of this. 19 and a quarter is supposed to be a 2 meter length, but I'd rather make it uh, too long than too short and then cut it down as I go to tune it. But uh, Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut this resonator down here. Uh, said 19 and a quarter is basically what it would say for 146 megahertz, so I'm going to go ahead and do it around 19 and 3 quarter, as you can see here. And uh, you can cut these resonators with a uh, pretty sharp uh, hacksaw and just snap it off. Uh, I just prefer to use a cut off wheel on the Dremel tool. Okay, I just uh, finished dressing it up a little bit with a file. And we're going to go ahead now, since that other standoff there that I'm going to use as a base for this antenna is a uh, 10 30 second, it's a lot larger. So, what I'm going to have to do is, going to have to find a way here, I'm trying to, how to make up for that space here. I think I've got an idea, i never tried this before, and let's see if it works out. I wonder what would happen if we took the jacket off of some 18 gauge wire, wrapped it around the thicker end of the resonator to make up for the space inside this 10 30 second adapter, and packed it down with a needle. Uh, we'll try it out and see. The real way to do it would be to go ahead and drill and tap this for a set screw, but. Um, I don't feel like doing that right now. We'll just see what we can come up with with stuff that's laying around. Just kind of build up the base of the antenna right here. Wrapping around and around and around. I think that would be good right there. I think we may have a winner here. Okay, we got success here by just working it in there. And I've got this probe here, or this pick. I'm 
kind of shoving that wire down inside of it here to build up the uh, fit it down all the nooks and crannies there. The resonator itself is in contact with that uh, the stud. Okay, I put some more wire in there, and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to use some five-minute epoxy here that I had laying around, and uh, pot that thing in epoxy. And now I got both hands free here. I can show you here what I did. Got it all glued in there. Take a little while for it to set up and dry, but uh, I think it's going to work out well. And then we'll do some testing with it. And you can see that our little homemade antenna here, or our uh, band switch antenna, that VHF is right on without having to do any trimming at all. You can see it covers well in and out of the ham bands. And at UHF, it's giving us about 2 to 1, or 2 0. Oh. And it seems to be resonant 427. And look at this. Look how broadbanded that thing is at UHF. Okay, and at 2 meters, pushing about 35 watts. You get very, very little reflected power. Okay, in a UHF, we get about 32 watts forward. And it looks like about 2 watts reflected. Well, as you can see, with like a couple dollar part you pick up at the ham fest and some spare items or scrap items you had around the house and some uh, epoxy and some hookup wire you can make yourself a workable antenna or repurpose a antenna for another frequency. Uh, I did tip it a little bit with some uh, duct tape to keep you from putting your eye out. So, Alright, well I hope everybody enjoyed this and uh, this is Survival Comms. Take care.